But as a Christian, and as, as, as exhibiting these fruits of the Spirit, what Paul told us we must, we must possess, because earlier in, in Galatians, he told us what we don't need to possess, That's what right. we don't, how we don't need to act, the characteristics that we don't uh, need, but these nine are what Christians should have. But if we want to be controlled, we need to actually move self out the way. That's right. And That's we right. need to invite the Holy Spirit right to there, lead us and right to guide us. Right so we need to not just be self-controlled, we need to be God-controlled. Right. Right. Yeah. God-controlled. That is our focus. He is our focus. The Holy Spirit does uh, comfort us, but he also leads us and guides us. But we have That's to right. submit ourselves to allow him to do that. That's the it. Holy Spirit, Spirit will not make you do anything that you don't want to do. That's right. We are free moral agents, but we have to submit ourselves. We have to, we have to uh, decrease mm -hmm. so that he can be increased. Mm -hmm. Okay, so temperance has to do with control of our mind, our will, our words, and our actions. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this means that we really need to allow, again, God to control these things. Well, how do we do this? Mm. How do we do this? Well, temperance has an effect on every area of our life. Every single thing, uh, temperance has something to do with. <laughs> so, in order to do that, Paul says in 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, uh, to bring into captivity, that's a strong word. Mm. Bring into captivity every thought mm -hmm. to obedience mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. If you obey the Lord, mm -hmm. you uh -huh. will be blessed. That's There's a litany of things that we that that we can that we can benefit from if only we are obedient. Yeah. Yeah. There's blessings that's waiting for us. Uh -huh. they're, they're just there for the asking. Uh, but we right. must do something first. We must yes. be obedient to receive that. Yeah. And so we must be obedient to, to God, and this will allow us to let him chain, mm. to chain those things, every thought. Let him control it. You ever had anything ever just popped in your mind? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Guess what? It was already in you. Mm -hmm. It was already there. That was you. You at that moment, you were not being, uh, being controlled by the Holy Spirit. That was self. That was flesh. Mm -hmm. That was flesh. Yeah. We find the word temperance uh, used in the Bible, the King James Version, six times. And we find its definition, which is self-control, we find it eight times. And it may not just be self-control, but in, in every way that it's meant. Mm -hmm. It's used eight different times. And the word temperate is used four different times. That's what we want to be at all times. We want to be temperate. Mm. That's yeah. right. So, let us not forget that self-control is that is what we need to uh, also do what Paul, what, what, what has been said in 2 Peter, that we must add the self-control to our faith. Now, you might be saying, but we all have a measure of faith. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. But it's a quality of our faith that we must add it to. 2 Peter 1 and 5 says, and beside this, given all diligence, Add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience. Now think about it. We've added temperance to knowledge. You know, knowledge is a good thing, but sometimes it's a powerful and dangerous thing. Too little knowledge is not good. Sometimes you might know a half truth, or you might know a little iota or something, and you think you know everything. And you're dangerous because you don't know the whole truth. Right. Or you may have a lot of knowledge and use it in the wrong way. Right. So with our knowledge, we need to add temperance so we can be controlled by God. Amen. So we don't allow self to control that knowledge. And then to the, to, uh, to the temperance, we need to add patience. That's one of our, uh, our fruit, which was long-suffering. Long-suffering is patience. All of, it, all of it connects together. Um, I hope that we can understand that the need for adding, t adding temperance to our life is important. You know, I, I heard some, Sister Shanice, I believe, mentioned Job Corps. I work currently with Job Corps. And I work with young people. And I, 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 I mean, I don't know you, I don't know you longer than it, but I've been here since, um, what, five, six years maybe. But just from knowing her as I do, I would say that she, she was an exceptional student. 
And by that, I mean what I usually see every day are those students who, why did you do that, Johnny? I don't know. I was just so angry. I don't know what made me do that. They're mad. They don't have control. I don't know how to control myself. That's what we see all the time. So uh, that's why it's important for us to do this because we don't have to depend on our own self-control. And self-control is important because without it, guess what? We can't fight off temptation. Okay. And you know temptation knocks at our door all the time in one shape, form, or another. But self cannot resist temptation. Although in James 4 and 7 we're told that we should resist the devil. Yeah, that's right. We should resist the devil and he shall flee. But how do we do that? We can't do that by ourselves. We have to allow God to do this right. through us. Because it cannot be done without him. Amen. And it cannot Amen. be done just because you want it to. Yeah. You have to want it to, but that's not what's going to make it happen. Yeah. You have to have that desire. You do have to walk away. And this brings me to, our, uh, to this point. Uh, we have to want to change. That, that may mean that you might have to stop doing some things you don't need to be doing. If, 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 you're, um, if, if what you can't control is alcohol, why are you sitting around other people who are drinking alcohol? Yeah. That's the last place you need to be, rather than a bar or in your house. Yeah. You don't need to be around it. That's right. Um, buying is cool. I'll be honest. There are certain things that is true. Why didn't you buy that? My daughter get on me all the time. Well, how did you get in the house? Me. That was me. I didn't allow myself to be controlled. I need to not uh, buy it. And you know, there's nothing wrong with saying, uh, Lord, please give me control while I'm in the store. Amen. You know, Amen. I know I pray the time, Lord, let me have enough money. Uh -huh. I do. Let, ooh, you know, just let it be enough. But, I, you know, give me control to make wise decisions Amen. and wise choices. Amen. So when there's some things that we have to decide, we're just going to step away from I want to allow God to control me. Mm -hmm. If I step up in the way, I mess up every time. Yeah. I mess up every single time. Amen. And kept wrapping up. Uh, we have to guard our thoughts and our desires. We need to remember that our mind is the source. Mm -hmm. Our mind is the source. What you think you're going to do. Yeah. That's why in, in uh, giving penalties, it is more, you get a stronger penalty if the crime is meditated, mm -hmm. premeditated. You thought about it. You right. sat there, you thought about it, you planned it as opposed to a crime of passion. Mm. Sin is sin, right. sin is wrong, but one has a greater penalty than the other. Mm. When your mind just takes control, uh, it, that's very powerful. If I'm going to control my words and actions, it must begin with my mind. Mm. Yeah. I need to clean my mind out. I need to stop thinking filthy things and thinking nasty mm. things and mean things about people mm. in my mind. Mm. I might not say it, but guess what? Sometimes it comes out, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You say something, it was in your mind. You yeah. thought about it. Yeah. And what they say about people that get drunk, and I had a lot of uncles, and they were always drunk. They tell the truth, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> they say because now they have no control of their mind. Mm -hmm. All right. They're drunk. They're, um, you know, they're intoxicated. And they say what they're thinking. They tell the truth. Yeah. They tell the truth. <laughs> We must remember, though, that we must first change our mind before our actions will change. If we want our actions to change, we have to change our mind. Some people get it backwards. They say, I'm going to go to church. I'm going to start going to church. I'm going to go back to church. That's fine. But something else needed to happen first. Your mind needs to change. You can sit in church all you want. But if your mind has not changed, your actions are not going to change. That's okay. right. Yeah, uh, Proverbs 4 and 23 tells us to keep thy heart with all diligence. That means guard your heart. And I don't always understand what that means. And in this context, heart means mind. But how can I guard my heart? How can I guard my mind? Again, that might mean to, to, to get away from certain people. Some people we don't need in our lives. Some people you know they're no good for us. You know that they're, they're not, you know that they're toxic. They're not good. It's okay to love from a distance. Just because you're not with them doesn't mean you don't love them. Sometimes if you love them, you do better to be away from them. Okay? Guard our hearts and minds from things which lead itself to us meditating again upon sinful things. Sometimes the more you think about something, boy, the better that cake looks. Mm. <laughs> the better that drink looks. Okay. The better she looks. Mm -hmm. The better he looks. Mm -hmm. The more I think about it, 
you know, the better it is. But we need to, the Bible tells us to think on these things that are pure. Yeah. That, those are the things we need to think of, not the yeah. evil things. And yeah. when we do that, we're allowing God's Holy Spirit to control us and work through us. Uh, again, bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. Um, I need to make sure that all that I am is under the control of, of Christ Jesus. Yeah. You know, we say, Lord, use me. I know that's my desire. Yeah. That's all I yeah. want is to be used by God. Yeah. But he can't use me if I'm in no condition to be used. Yeah. He can't use me if, I, if I'm pulling the other way. He's, he's, he's having me to go this way, but yet I want to go right or left. And he's telling me to go right. So I have to allow him to do so. Now, sometimes, I want to say this, sometimes, you know, and some of us have been in the church a long time, and we're we so Christian, and we this and that. But you will never know this from hearing them talk. Mm -hmm. Some people don't matter. We'll send them and just come out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Control your mouth. Yeah. Control your tongue. Look what James said, said about that tongue. Yeah. There's life and death to the tongue. But just because you're thinking, or just because you're old, don't give you the right to say it. Yeah. Now, I'm, you know, some people is like, you know, I'm old. I did. That, that don't give you a right. That's right. That's right. It don't make you right. So allow God to control you and not yourself. Amen. Sometimes you have to stop. I know I do it. Count to ten. Yeah. Before you say something. Amen. Sometimes you have to count to a hundred. And that's just the truth. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Yes. Calm down. Don't just say it. Yes. So let God move you. Yes. And, and listen. You know, you hear the right thing to do, but when you're too busy, I'm going to get her. I, I, I can't let her get away with that. I got to get her straight. That's you. The Holy Spirit might be saying, hold your peace. Amen. Be quiet. Amen. Okay? Finally, don't just go through the motions nor merely say you want to change. Don't just wish you should change. Just do it. That's right. Do it. That's Make right. the right decision and bring all of your being under the, under the authority of God. See, he has all authority, but we have none. He has, they're just like a child, you know, trying to do what they want to do. But what you say? I'm the grown up. You're going to do what I say do. You know, that's what we tell them. God's not going to say that, that's but right. you're going to wish that you had done what he told you to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. Remember, Amen. and I end, remember that it is self-control, again, that enables us to add the other aspects of the fruit of the Spirit to our lives. So we need self-control in order to benefit and to uh, walk in each one of the nine fruit of the mm -hmm. Spirit. Mm -hmm. God bless you and thank you. I don't have a group, um, but I, I do have a donation. And I wanted to run out the door. Everybody talking about $1,000 and $500. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to say it. I'm not going to. Carla, Carla is a shame, but my heart, God knows my heart, right. is for me out of my pocket $20. Amen. Amen.